Welcome to Bridging the Gap series. I'm your host, Rick Eversold. In this video, we'll describe symbolic simulation. If you have not already seen the Bridging the Gap overview video, you might want to watch that video first. Let's get started. Symbolic simulation is a formal technique that is similar to other event simulators. It is event-driven like traditional logic simulators, such as VCS from Synopsys. Instead of using zero or one values, symbolic simulation uses symbols and propagates those symbols as logic equations to the outputs. Symbolic simulation can work for non-synthesizable logic and can be extended to allow for symbolic timing. Instead of an event happening at a fixed time, it can happen across a range or set of times. Now let's look at a traditional logic simulation of a two-input AND gate. In order to verify that we are, in fact, simulating an AND gate, we would apply a set of input vectors and check that we get the expected output. Let's start with the A and B inputs both set to zero. Good, the Z output is zero as we expect. Now change B to a one and check the output. Good, the output is still zero. Change A to one and B to zero and check the output. Still good. Finally, let's set A to 1 and B to 1. And now the output is 1. This would appear to be an AND gate. Now let's consider how to do the same verification with a symbolic simulator. We will apply symbols instead of logic 1 or 0. Let's set A to S1 and B to S2 and run the simulation. Now the output is S1 and S2. Looks very much like the AND function we expected. Comparing logic and symbolic simulation for combinatorial designs, we see that symbolic simulation needs just one vector, while logic simulation requires two to the number of inputs vectors. In our simple AND gate, that was four logic simulation vectors. For designs with internal state like, like memory, a flip-flop, or a latch, you will need to explore the entire state space of the design. Let's look at a simple design with two registers and some logic. Here's our simple design with the initial state before any symbolic simulation is started. This is an example design where we have forced the internal registers to zero at the start of simulation. We also set the inputs to X or unknown. We will keep the clock as binary value. For a design this simple, we could let the clock be symbolic, but in a typical design, you do not use a symbolic clock in order to simplify the verification and reduce the amount of time required to run the simulation. Now let's start applying symbols. Set the CS input to CS1 and the RS input to RS1. Step simulation, we see the values propagated to the internal nodes as equations. Simple so far. Now let's apply the first clock change and run. The outputs of the registers feed back around and the equations are starting to look a little more interesting. Now apply new symbols CS2 and RS2 to the CS and RS pins and run. Now we can see the impact of these changes. Note how the internal nodes have symbols from both sets of inputs. We call the action of applying values to the inputs and then toggling the clock a test cycle. Finally, let's complete the second test cycle by applying the clock changes. Now look at those equations. They're starting to get rather large. We could continue and apply additional test cycles with new input symbols, but would we really get any better verification? In this design, no. Two registers, they're configured in such a way that the design only has a state depth of two. So two test cycles are sufficient to verify this design. So we've looked at symbolic simulation and seen how it can be more efficient than logic simulation because you do not have to write all those test vectors. Let's recap. Symbolic simulation is a formal analysis technique that is an event-driven simulation much like traditional logic simulation with which you are probably already familiar. Symbolic simulation uses symbols that represent all logic values instead of binary 1 and 0 logic values. It propagates equations instead of logic values and can be used for designs that contain non-synthesizable logic descriptions. While we have not shown it in this video, Symbolic simulation can be extended to include symbolic timing. I hope you have enjoyed this episode and will check out the other episodes of Bridging the Gap Formal Custom Verification. Music